I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant, and you're watching The Other Side of the Dash. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. And if you find these videos useful, please share with your family and friends and also make a comment below so I can respond. So this is my May update and with the given situation that's going on, the pandemic, there's not a whole lot to update. So I'll do the best I can. So let's first start with my health update. I am back on keto, kinda. And what does that mean? Well, for the most part, I am doing a keto diet without intermittent fasting. I just am not there yet because I'm finding myself, when I wake up in the morning, I am in like starvation mode. And I have to at least have my coffee or things the day, whole day is going to be ruined so i am not able to do that just yet because for some reason my body is just going into starvation mode which is sometimes good for intermittent fasting but if i'm to the point where i feel faint like i, I can't stand up whatever that's not a good thing for me so i'm going to slowly ease into that once things get better and again kind of because my family and I are subscribers to HelloFresh, not sponsored, but we'll take one. Um, and HelloFresh is not keto friendly. They do have vegetarian uh, friendly diets. And I eat, I'd even venture to say they have paleo friendly diets. Don't quote me on that. But being that they don't have low carb options, we subscribe to a two month, two meal a week plan. We were doing four meals, but we're doing two now. So one of those meals is just an all vegetarian type of meal while the other one has meat. Well, regardless of which one we choose, there's gonna be some kind of carb. Uh, tortillas, there may be potatoes or squash or something that has some carbs in it. So um, I'm gonna eat that because we've paid for 10 weeks. So uh, I'm gonna eat it. So those are where I'm getting my carbs from, and that's about it. So outside of HelloFresh, I'm pretty much keeping with the ketogenic lifestyle. Now, as far as results go, I haven't really gauged any results. I know that I am not losing any weight right now, only because I am not exercising like I should, you know, and there's no excuse for that. I mean, because there's... I don't know if you guys can't see in the background there. You see my exercise ball. I've got a stair stepper back there and some other equipment. And it's just that when I find time, again, should be making excuses, but that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But I'll eventually get to the point where I will start working out again, which was a big factor in helping me lose the weight that I lost. And also this intermittent fasting. So um, I'll get back to that. I just don't know when. We are in currently in a new normal right now. So right now my new normal is survival and that's what i'm doing so that's what my uh that's the update on my keto diet now as far as my blood sugars and being in remission i have not been back to the doctor they did call and ask for me to set an appointment but right now i'm not trying to go into nobody's doctor's office because uh i'm just not afraid i'm just trying to be safe because i don't want to bring that back to my family i am one of those people who who is subjective to the virus i have heart disease i have even though i'm in remission i have diabetes uh, along with some other issues my granddaughter has asthma so i don't want to bring that back home so i'll just wait but i do check my blood sugar on a regular basis and it's normal so i'm going to assume that i'm still in remission and when this lets up and i feel comfortable enough to go back to the doctor i will do so to get my 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 numbers checked out and so on uh, another update i have is on my tooth so you guys i mentioned before that i suffer from this thing called pica i'm no longer doing the baking soda because we don't keep it in the house otherwise it would be uh, but uh so my thing now is ice i chew lots of ice and I thought for sure 
that would be the one thing that messed up my dental work. However, when I chew my ice, I only chew it on the sides of my teeth. So the other day, I was chewing on a chicken bone and I used the front of my tooth and it chipped my tooth. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but it's kind of like right there. So I have to go in and have them fix that. Well, you guys are gonna have to see that for a while because nobody's about to stick their hand in my mouth during this time. So another doctor's appointment that I have to wait on. So the update on my heavy periods. So it stopped for a while, then it came back light. So I'm thinking I was going back into perimenopause. You guys, this happened since the last time I talked to you guys, it's been light uh, or non-existent. Flash forward to about seven days ago. Oh my God, you guys, the clots are back. The heavy bleeding is back, uh, but I was not taking the iron. Try not to do a whole lot of iron because iron, as you know, can constipate you. But I'm back on the iron. I'm hoping it helps, but oh my God, my life has been miserable. And then on top of that, losing so much blood, I've been so much so tired. So I'm trying to teach homeschool, trying to be a wife, be a mother, be a business, you know, an entrepreneur and so on and try to take care of myself. I am exhausted. So you guys know we are in the, uh, the position of right now of, or in transition, basically we've sold our house. We're temporarily in an apartment. Our house is being built in Texas. So we're living in this apartment. And I don't feel comfortable here at all, which means on top of everything else, I am not getting any sleep. This apartment life is a different beast. Every night, all night, you hear bang, boom, bomb, boom, bang, boom. And you can't help if somebody trying to break into my house, if somebody, you know, trying to come through the patio. So I am not getting any sleep at night. So I tried last night, I tried some z and that helped me for a couple of hours, but then I heard a boom and I'm back up and I'm up for the rest of the night. So it's like, I may go back to sleep at about five or six o'clock, but then after that, it's time to get back up at 7.30 for school. So I'm having a hard time with that, but hopefully, you know, that'll even out once we move, because I, I don't know if it's gonna happen. You know, summer's getting ready to, you know, rear its ugly head. Right now we're at 70s, and this week is supposed to be in the, the, the high 80s, uh, low 90s. So. It's gonna get hot, people wanna come outside. They've lifted the, um, the stay at home order and we're in our state of North Carolina, we're doing it in phases. I'm sure they're doing that everywhere else, but we're not in phase two until, I think tomorrow is phase two. So, you know, people are gonna be out and there are gonna be parties and, you know, late night parties. I'm definitely not gonna get any sleep. So, uh, that's the update on that. The update on our house. We just had a meeting with our builder today and they have laid the concrete and the uh, foundation and I believe he said sometime next Tuesday they're going to start, the lumber is supposed to arrive tomorrow and then Tuesday they're going to start framing and building the house. And I'm just so excited. It cannot get here fast enough. You guys, you guys have no idea. And so I've been looking at ideas on Pinterest on how to decorate. I know what I'm looking for. I may not be saying the right words. So maybe modern cheek glamour. <laughs> so our colors are gonna be blues, grays, silvers, and whites. And I want a little bling bling here, but not too much because I had to compromise with my husband. So uh, I, don't, I want a little bit modern for him, a little bling bling for me. So I've been looking at things on uh, Pinterest but I'm afraid to buy it. Well, I don't want to buy anything anyway right now because are we, we have nowhere to put it. Uh, and then I want to be like some people who have bought furniture and realized it didn't fit or they didn't want it or their, their house still fell through and you know, whatever the case may be. So um, I know of a couple who was, uh, was um, on the verge of buying their uh, dream house and this happened. So their financing was halted Another person who had an all cash offer came in and bought the house right up from under them. So um, I'm, I'm a praying woman, so I'm praying none of that happens to us. But it's just so hard looking at different things because I want to go in and 
you know, know things. I'm, I'm a planner and plus I have a plan A and plan B type of person. So I'm looking and say, okay, this is what the house looks like. What am I going to put on this wall? What are we going to put on this wall? And the good thing about decorating our walls, I said in a previous video that most of the things on our walls are going to be nice portraits of my photography. They may be family portraits or uh, photographs that I've taken on our travels when we've traveled. Uh, but the good thing about our new home is that it doesn't have a whole lot of walls in meaning that it's pretty open. You know, we have the study, the bedrooms, whatever, but every the kitchen and the dining room are, are open and they have walls of windows. So, you know, don't have to worry about too much of that. So, but still I'm looking at different things to do to try to decorate and so on. And I'm just getting so excited. And in each meeting we have with the builder, which is weekly, and then the pictures that they send us, I just get so excited and it just, <laughs> I'm just so excited uh, that this is coming. You know, all the, the sacrificing and you know, everything that God is, is leading us to, uh, it's all worth it, you know. So um, it, it just makes me excited. It makes me forget about complaining about this or complaining about that because I know Lord wills there's a bigger picture uh, ahead of us. So that is the update with that. Our update on homeschooling, a uh, little one, her last day of school was on the 21st of May. This is, was our, this in today ended our last full week of school. Monday we'll have a regular day, but it'll probably be this and that, maybe some planning for next year, Tuesday, the same thing. Wednesday, we're going to have a half a day. And then Thursday, we're going to have a year in celebration. She has uh, received her yearbook. And so what I did was I went on to our social media platforms and uh, anyone that knows her and has watched her grow, they have the opportunity to post something. And what I'm going to do is print their little comments out on uh, labels and I'm going to put the labels in her yearbook so we can, they can basically have signed her yearbook electronically. And then also I had sent out continuation cards uh, saying that she's going to continue over into the fifth grade. So we're excited about that. And we have decided we're going to, we're going to, even though we're supposed to be in Texas by September, we are still going to go ahead and homeschool for fifth grade because they start, they exit elementary school in the fourth grade there. So she'll go to a, another school, an intermediate school, then she'll go to another school. And I thought she would only be at that one school for one year and then she would go to another school. So I said, okay, you know what? Let's just homeschool her for the fifth grade and she can go directly to the other school uh, once you know that year starts. So I have been busy and I'll be continuously busy planning for the fifth grade school year 2020-2021. And um, we're gonna do things a little bit different. We're gonna add a little more curriculum. And uh, I wanna have that done by the end, no later than the end of June because I want to be able to enjoy our summer plus we'll be back in texas again so i want to you know have everything in place so everything will run smoothly i'm a planner i want everything to run smoothly i realize things don't always go the way you plan but as i can if i can stick close as if i can stick as close to a plan as possible that will be great for us uh update in the uh home front Marriage is still good, still going strong. We'll be celebrating 13 years in November. I get on his nerves, he get on my nerves. I love him, he loves me. Everything works just fine. <laughs> so we're still we're still together. <laughs> so um, as far as any other updates, that's all I can think of right now. Um, you guys just keep praying and please be safe out there. There are some people who don't want to wear a mask. I don't understand why not, but that is your God-given human right. Uh, but please don't make the rest of us sick because if you're, um, whatever your reasons for not wearing them, you know, as for me and mine, we're going to wear them. We don't go out much. I'm about to start using, uh, Instacart and all these other people to deliver, but, um, we're having a hard time now finding meat tissue paper towel and bleach products so i'm going to probably get up in the morning and go to costco and look for those items uh, and see if i can find those but i think what i'm going to start doing is using the delivery service or the pickup service because 
uh, they're letting the, the state open and people even before they start doing that were not being safe whatsoever and again I, I want my family and I to be safe and I want you and your family to be safe so that being said that's all I have for an update please stay tuned for a uh, a wig tutorial video that's coming up soon and um yeah that's it until the next video thank you for coming to my channel again if you have not already please subscribe hit the thumbs up button hit that notification bell and share this video i'm yolanda johnson bryant and you've been watching the other side of the dash have a good one folks